I have talked about time in various mentions and also about framing our life and having the expectation that we will all have enough time to do everything that God um, has for us to do. Um, and also that time itself is a being that wants to cooperate with us and work with us. So there's a sense where we need to change our perspective towards time, not seeing it as a negative. And there are so many things that we say in phrases and terminology that's quite negative towards time. Time's running out. I haven't got enough time. I'm too busy. Time is passing. You know, time's my enemy. You know, all these things. Well, time's our friend. And therefore we can cooperate with time and time itself as a being can help work with us in these in these subjects so yes i have chosen to expand or contract time um and the way i've done that is that i've chosen that reality above another and the only way it works um, when you choose that for yourself is if you're not double-minded and you're not wavering in doubt and unbelief which means that you'll get what you're used to getting rather than what you want to get because we default back to our past experience so if you want to have future experiences for me god introduced the subjects to me um in encounters that then opened the door for me to believe i could do that so initially i was driving to a meeting i was somewhat late but it didn't really matter particularly and i wasn't that bothered about it and i drove around a corner and i found myself seven miles down the road instantly with no feeling or sensation whatsoever and I got to the meeting um, slightly early. Now, I knew that was the case because when I ran, ran the corner, I was in a different place. And I was also recording my mileage. Um, and on the way back, I did seven miles more than on the way. And I drove exactly the same road uh, in, in that way. So that introduced me to the possibility. And then I then had, to, I needed to use that possibility and choose that reality when i was taking my daughter to a train uh, to catch a train the train station was about 45 minutes away and we got stuck in a traffic hold up some roadworks um, which was three four miles long and by the time i got through that i only really had about 10 15 minutes to get to the the train station and that wasn't enough that would normally would take me 35 40 minutes so my daughter was in the car she was worried and concerned and thought it was starting to think about having to cancel a train and get a new train so i just said no don't worry we'll be there on time i made that choice that was simply the choice i carried on driving and nothing seemed to happen and then we got to a place where we were probably about i think seven miles or so away from the station and a couple of minutes to get there which is impossible naturally speaking and then we were there i mean literally we were just there my daughter looked at me incredulously like what just happened we were there she caught the train so that's that operating is to choose but you can't have any possibility because quantum physics says the choice of the observer creates the reality and they've done all sorts of experiments, the double slit experiment, where when someone observes light going through a slit, it can either be a uh, dot of light or a wave of light. And if you observe it, it's a dot. And if you don't observe it, it's a wave. Now, how does that work? Well, they don't really know, but they, they see it as quite a, a quantum physics staple that some things are local or non-local is, is a lot of science around it but anyway so when i choose a reality light which makes up our reality responds and there's every possible choice i could make existing as a possible timeline and when i choose one all the other possible timelines fade away and then that timeline manifests into a reality. Now, I don't do that unless it aligns to the father's heart. It's not a party trick. It's not something I'm just going to do out of convenience. It's something I always check out with the father. What is your heart here? And I instinctively know whether I can or can't do something in regards to time and affecting that sort of thing. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help.
Thank you very much. <laughs>